It's I Do Notes episode number 110, IBM Messaging Security. Does it include IBM Protector or is it IBM Lotus Protector? Hey everybody, it's episode 110 of I Do Notes. Uh, another one I wanted you to look at with all the recent communication and talk about everything losing the Lotus name, products are losing it, same time lost it, connections lost it, now uh, what would be next on the list? Found this kind of interesting. I thought maybe you guys would as well. Maybe stir up some conversation around it. Got an email here, as you see on the screen, for the IBM Messaging Security Solutions webinar. And I said, okay, messaging security, we're always interested in that. It's been doing it for a long time. And as I scrolled through, I found out uh, one of the presenters, as presented by here, is uh, Sean Brown of IBM Collaboration Solutions. Many of you know Sean from many other podcasts that I've done. He's Lotus Protector's product manager. He's done a great job with mail security, the encryption products, everything else. And it got me thinking, is Protector about to lose the name itself? So I scrolled through, uh, down at the bottom, it actually says he's product manager for the Protector product family, but it's still called the IBM Messaging Security Solutions for mail security. So I wanted to find out more about IBM Messaging Security before I actually registered for the event. So I jumped over to IBM Messaging Security site and found it. It is there. It's a corporate email solution to help you protect uh, your infrastructure. Interestingly enough about it, though, I didn't find any mention of Protector right here, which was kind of confusing. I went into their Express Managed Security, thinking Lotus Live uses it. Uh, they use Protector to protect Lotus Live. So I clicked in, and I found something very interesting in the middle that it's powered by Message Labs. So Message Labs is using their Express offering. So part of the IBM Messaging Security is Message Labs. I didn't find Protector there. Uh, I also went ahead and looked at the Proventia stuff, which as you can tell, looks a lot like the Protector sets. So what you're seeing is a little bit of the Proventia network mail security systems built in there. I'd like to see more about Protector built in and also understand how it's fitting together. The last part, which was interesting, as you can see, there's a little menu here about IT services and security. I went to security services, and on this page I couldn't find anything about messaging. There was managed, there was professional and all that, uh, but I didn't see messaging. So I went into managed, and inside of there I got things about uh, protecting all of your security with IBM security services. And in the middle you get into things like managed email security at the bottom, web security, and notice they're cloud security services. So we're seeing is a push towards more of the cloud solution from IBM and Lotus, which we're also seeing is possibly Will the name go from the Lotus side of Protector and will become part of the IBM Protector series as part of the IBM messaging security? So give me your feedback. Leave some comments in the post itself or blog it yourself and link back. And what do you think? Uh, will the name change? Is this part of the whole plan and movement? Or are we just overstating some of the obvious things that we're seeing on the site there? It's another I Do Notes episode.